Hi there, Simon from SimonWoodsAdult.com. I have a couple of uh, South Australian Grenaches in front of me and um, uh, I've just been having a look at, uh, at the alcohol levels. Uh, once upon a time, all Australian Grenache uh, was quite big and beefy and uh, so there's one of them that is in that style, uh, quite bold, 14.5% alcohol. Uh, but uh, in recent times there's been a move to uh, thinking of uh, Grenache more as something that is... Um, not, it's not the same as Pinot Noir, but uh, instead of going for power, uh, how about going for a little bit of, um, uh, of elegance and aroma? Uh, and maybe that's going to be the approach with the first one, which is only 13%. Better tell you what it is, haven't I? Um, so, uh, first one is Yolumba's Old Bushvine Grenache 2014 uh, from, uh, it says Barossa. Uh, now, I don't know whereabouts, uh, whether it's Barossa Valley or whether it's Eden Valley, but it just says, it just says Barossa. Uh, so, weighing in 13%. Uh, let's give it a whirl. One of the first things I notice is uh, is the colour. Have I got anything white here? No. Um, I don't know if you can see the colour against that, uh, against a, an Elixir guitar string packet. Um, it's not very deep in colour. Grenache is a naturally um, not very dark coloured uh, grape. Some grapes just have more pigment in their skins than, than others. Uh, if you see a Grenache and it's really deep and dark in colour, uh, either they've gone over the top on extraction or they've added a few other grapes in there. Uh, but aroma-wise, it's this gentle, juicy, almost like strawberry yoghurt type of, uh, of, of, of characteristic. And um, it, smells, it smells like it's going to be fresh and friendly. That's what it is. It's got a little bit of um, yeah, this strawberry, verging on the strawberry cordial bite, some spice. Um, uh, sometimes I have a problem with, um, with with Grenache from Australia in that they go overboard on the mintiness. Here, it's just as a maybe mint herbal characters in the background rather than front and centre. And um, uh, the finish that you, 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 what you're left with is something that is uh, soft and pleasant, um, not hugely complex. But one of those that uh, you think, do I need a, a wine glass or do I, do I need a half pint pot? Alarmingly uh, friendly and easy to drink wine. Um, but um, again, the finish, you're, you're left with this dry, savoury character as well as the, that juicy fruit. It's not a sweet, um, ripe, bimbo wine. It's um, very tasty, very tasty. Let's try the second one. So this is Wirra Wirra's The Absconder. Uh, again, 2014 vintage, but this one is uh, McLaren Vale. Um, uh, uh, yeah. in, uh, Grenache has been made in the old way, using ancient basket press, plunged by hand, blah, blah, blah. Ten months French oak, and um, let's give it a whirl. Now, you can probably see it's not vastly different in colour. Maybe there's a little bit, um, yeah, hardly anything in it, really. Um, they're both on, on that pale and hopefully interesting side. But when I, I smell it, it smells like there's a little bit more uh, richness, depth, concentration. There's also something that makes me uh, slightly concerned that some of the grapes had uh, started to get a little bit overripe. There's a slight... Um, the Australians have this word dead fruit, uh, dead grape. Uh, the, the, the idea is if you leave your grapes out for too long on the vines, what happens is that they don't continue to uh, ripen completely. There's bits of them that say, right, OK, I'm going to stop now. And the skins start to shrivel while the sugar levels keep uh, keep rising. Here, there's just a little bit of that. Uh, it doesn't smell like it's going to be as sweet and juicy as the um, uh, as the Yolumba. Uh, going from the presentation, I'd say it were a slightly more ambitious wine. So it may be that uh, they are looking for something that's a bit more, um, yeah, a bit more bold and boisterous. And uh, when I think of McLaren Vale, that's, I, I think of that's the, that's the traditional style of reds they make there. Barossa are also quite big, and but uh, there are. Um, oh, it's, it's, it's hard to generalise about both regions. There are warm bits and there are cooler bits, so uh, I better shut up and just taste it. Ah, fascinating contrast between these two. Um, I was saying about those dry tannins, well, there's something that smelled dead grapey. I don't notice uh, dead grape character there. There is uh, certainly the, there's a firmer edge of tannin uh, and there's more concentration of fruit, uh, but then the way in which that warmth. Um, the higher alcohol comes through. There's a touch of licorice, uh, maybe there, there's, there's a bit of herbs, a bit of spice in there. Um, but um, is it a better wine or is it a louder wine? 
I uh, I think I think if you put these two these two bottles on the table, you'd get uh, a split table. There'd be some who prefer the uh, gentler style of the Yolumba, and some who prefer the richer, fleshier, fuller-bodied style of the um, uh, uh, of the Absconder. What I think, why I prefer the Yolumba, it seems to be. I, I, I could drink more of it. I, I'm not suggesting that uh, uh, the, the sign of a good wine is that uh, you can drink more of it and uh, not fall over or anything like that because of the lower alcohol. But uh, in terms of uh, the, the, the second one for me, almost too much of a good thing. Uh, it's concentrated and I would like to just turn the volume down slightly. Uh, when I think about, um, you, you, this is your lumber's entry level Grenache, I think. Maybe they've got a level below that. But they've got another one called uh, Tricentenary Grenache. I think it's called Tricentenary, not because it was planted 300 years ago, but the, uh, the vines have existed in three separate centuries. So I think they were planted late 1880s. So, uh, and what is interesting about that, uh, it's, you, you think, okay, older vine, more ambitious, it's going to be much higher in alcohol. Well, I think it comes in at 13.5% rather than uh, the, the 13 that this is. And instead of having uh, the same flavours ratcheted up, uh, what you've got is extra flavours. So it's a broader spectrum of flavour. Uh, what I find, uh, and why I prefer the Yulam, but what I find with the Wira Wira is that uh, you've got intense flavours uh, but maybe not uh, as broad a spectrum of them as I would like. But I know there'll be lots of people who uh, prefer the Abscond for exactly that reason. It's big, it's powerful, it's, um, it, it's not, it's not in, ter in, in terms of wines around the world, there are bit far, more, uh, far bigger and more powerful wines around. But um, I, I prefer, I, I'm, I'm going for the Yolumba, so that's the one I'll be on tonight with my sausages. See you soon.